Santa Barbara County agencies met face to face today to talk about disaster preparedness. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Elise, the folks who met today don't usually get together unless something is wrong. That's right, CJ. The Disaster Council is made up of multiple agencies, and today's briefing focused on El Nino, the drought, and the Refugio oil spill. Riots. The Santa Barbara County Disaster Council usually meets when there's an emergency. Tuesday was an exception. Members of a half dozen agencies that answer the call during a disaster sat down to talk about recent and potential disasters that may lie ahead. Supervisor Janet Wolf is the council chair, the only person who can convene the group. This was a long time in coming. People forget that we do have these you know, emergency disaster proclamations still in effect. Those are the drought and the refugio oil spill. The spill is in phase three, monitoring and maintenance. But more cleanup may be needed if winter storms bring oil back up onto the beach. The continued effort is going to be there as sand, sediment gets exposed, rocks become more exposed, submerged oil will be will be present. And we have teams that will go out there and, and, and take care of that response protocol. And even if we see above average rainfall this year, the Office of Emergency Management stresses the drought is likely to persist. And Santa Barbara County has done a phenomenal job uh, in comparison to the rest of the state. Uh, we need to continue those efforts uh, beyond El Nino. Members of the public were encouraged to attend the presentation, but local groups say future sessions should be held during the regular Board of Supervisors meetings. So more people can watch on their computer or show up in person and add their voice. Janet Wolf's time as chair is up in December, so it's up to the person who takes her place to decide when to call the next meeting. Live in Santa Barbara, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.